Hey YouTube, uh, just a quick tip video for you. I'm working on a 2017 Mazda CX-5. Um, one important thing to know before doing the rear brakes on these models that have the electronic parking brake here is that you have to set the parking brake system to service mode which will retract the parking brake motor so that you can compress the pistons in the rear brake calipers. To start this process you have to make sure that the parking brake is released. Um, feet off of the, all the pedals and push the ignition switch or the start button twice. And if you've done that correctly, all the idiot lights in the dashboard will show up just like this. Next step is to push on the gas pedal all the way to the floor. Push down and hold the parking brake switch while holding the gas pedal to the floor and push on the start button three times. If you've done it correctly, you should hear the rear parking brake motors actuate in the rear end. And you will see the orange parking brake icon show up in the dashboard indicating that the system is in service mode. So from here, you can turn the ignition switch off and proceed with replacing the brake pads in the rear calipers. Once the parking brake system is in service mode, you can go ahead and compress the piston into the caliper using a tool like the one shown. It is important to note that you do not rotate the piston into the caliper as you would with many rear calipers, but instead push it straight into the caliper like you would with most front calipers. Using a C-clamp or some other means that puts pressure on the rear half of the caliper is not advised as you may damage the parking brake motor that is attached to the backside of the brake caliper. Ensure that the piston has not rotated once it is seated in its bore by making sure that these notches are oriented in the 12 and 6 o'clock position. Once you have the new brake pads installed and everything is back together, you'll need to take the parking brake system out of service mode. To do this, you'll have to have the ignition in the on position. Keep your feet off of the brake pedal. Hit the start button twice. The idiot lights in the instrument cluster should turn on like so. From here, push and hold the accelerator pedal to the floor. Pull up on the parking brake switch and hold it. While both of those are held, push on the start button three times. At this point, you'll hear the parking brake motor actuate and calibrate, and the amber parking brake icon in the dashboard should extinguish itself. Once this happens, you can release the gas pedal and the parking brake switch. And the parking brake should work as normal. Okay, and to verify correct operation, Put your foot on the brake pedal and release the parking brake. The parking brake should release if everything's working correctly and you're done. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, if you'd like to see more content like this, um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, concerns, or questions, uh, please leave those in the comments section below. Thanks, and have a nice day.